All this week we have been examining policing in Eastern Carolina from the dangers of the job, community groups working for accountability to those getting set to enter law enforcement as a career. Tonight, as we wrap things up, we do so talking with law enforcement leaders in the East about the challenges they see and how they're working to make sure their officers keep the peace and do so safely and with honor. They were all rookies at one time. Now, Greenville Police Chief Ted Sauls has 26 years on the force, following in his dad's footsteps, who was the sheriff in Greene County. I came into it knowing that I wanted to be in public service, that I, I had a strong uh, desire for, for conformity and for the rules, and had, had a, a great respect that had been instilled in me all along. Pitt County Sheriff Paula Dance has been in law enforcement for more than 30 years, starting as a clerk at the sheriff's office. And that's where I had an epiphany uh, one day. That I love coming to work. This is what I love doing. And here I am today. Kinston Police Chief Keith Goyette has put on the uniform for 23 years with aspirations at first of becoming a teacher. I did not never plan on being in law enforcement long term and I never planned on being a police chief, but I just fell in love with the job, and to this day, I can't imagine myself doing anything different. Being in law enforcement for decades, they have all seen tremendous change and the challenges the profession now faces. Among them, recruitment and retention. Chief Goyette says the pandemic has played a part, as have high-profile officer-involved deaths like that of George Floyd. Ever since then, it's, it's been very, very difficult for us to recruit officers and even retain some officers. You know, a lot of police officers across the state, across the country are getting out of law enforcement. And then there is the issue of pay. People are seeing um, aspects of being able to make a greater income doing something that is less dangerous. A danger that Sheriff Dan says seems to have only increased since she started. I don't think it was as prevalent and on my mind as much back then because people were different. The atmosphere was different. Um, during the time that I came in, there was a whole lot more people who respected law enforcement um, and the role that we played in the community. The danger of the job, the pay, and the professionalism of the officers are all among the issues these leaders see as priorities in moving forward. And they're being addressed in several ways. Technology, whether it's video through our cell phones or officer body cameras, allows us to see more interactions with law enforcement. It can capture the good and the bad. But either way, agencies say it can all be beneficial. I know that after getting those body cameras, my complaints went down 75%. Because I, those are the tools that holds us accountable, that holds the community accountable too. That accountability is a big focus for all. And it can go a long way, these leaders say, in preventing the unjustified use of force. Now there is this duty to intervene, a duty to report. Those are, are things that we are putting in place to make sure that we're policing ourselves on the front end. In Greenville, the department is nationally accredited by the Commission on Accreditation for law enforcement agencies known as CALEA, which means they follow internationally accepted law enforcement standards. That training aspect is, is key. But it's also key that you talk about your expectations and that your staff, especially your command staff, those who are directing the officers all day, that we're all on the same sheet and that they understand what's expected. The city of Kinston is now seeking that same accreditation. We also bring in top talented uh, training for our officers. We bring in bias free policing for our officers, leadership, FBI leader courses. We make sure our officers have exactly what they need. And then we also make sure our supervisors have what they need as well. While many police agencies across the East are also working on boosting pay, Saul says some of the other benefits of being in law enforcement are big selling points. After 30 years of, of public service, you have a, a pension, and it's not every profession that has that anymore. As the policing profession evolves and confronts its challenges to move forward, Saul's, Dance, and Goyette say the job ultimately gets down to the same core principle that drew them in, helping people. The adage that we are the, the, the here for those who can't protect themselves, uh, I think went a long ways with me then and it still does now. It is still one of the most honorable professions that you can join. And that is ultimately what the leaders that you just heard from are working to see continue, as are those in our reports from throughout the week, so that it is not only an honorable profession, but also one that is done with integrity to benefit all involved, the officers and those in the communities they protect and serve.
So it sounds like they're working on ways, you know, to, to strengthen their ability to pull people in, but yeah, the environment's really changed. Yeah, a lot of change over the uh, decades that they have been in law enforcement, yeah. but some great insight and uh, some great pictures too. Yeah, I love <laughs> that look back yeah, because I've exactly. only known them since in their current state, right. not some of those throwbacks. Indeed. Yeah.